What up? It's Ant The Rock. I'm here to give you a track breakdown on my new tune with Roland Clark called Alcabulon, coming out soon on Exploited Ghetto. So first up in the track, I have my big fat bottom girls kick really holding down the low end. Added a little bit of little percussion hit to just add a little flavor to kind of keep it moving a little bit. And then the 909 hi-hat that we all know and love. So with the clap on this one, I didn't want to do like a standard tech house house beat where the claps on the two and the four. I ended up putting it at the end of every two bars on the fourth beat to kind of give it. And it's like a real sounding clap too, so it's not all processed and plasticky. A little bit of shaker, get that shoulder going. And then another wood block percussion hit. That 909 sizzle right over the top to kind of subconsciously bring the energy up towards the uh, the end of the phrases. Uh, next, I moved on to writing the piano line. I always try to have a MIDI controller in front of me while I produce, so it was as simple as letting the beat roll and kind of writing this this arpeggiated line over the top of it. Magic. So all together with the rest of the track. Added some white noise, some effect sweeps, just to kind of keep it fresh and moving in between segments. So it was at this point that I felt comfortable sending the track over to Roland. He said, I heard it for two seconds, I knew exactly what I had to do. I had to do a chant. And Roland's good because he's gonna send me stuff that's usually about 80% of the way fully produced. He compresses really nicely. Uh, he likes to handle his own reverb and delays. It sounds really nice and polished by the time it gets to me. I mean, I still do go in, clean it up, and I'll put a little bit of group compression and stuff like that. With this one, it was really more about setting up the layers. It's just finding the spacing with the panning, which harmonies to the left, to the right, down the center, a stereo image, no stereo image. You know, he had this amazing spoken word part that really narrates the entire story. Our journey began with love. You'll hear it in the record. We just needed a couple more elements. We make really repetitive music and we try to make it last five, six minutes. So I wanted another element, another couple elements that like really moved and swept through. I just started using the new Massive X plugin by Native Instruments. It just have an element that tells that story a little bit better. So as you can see here, essentially just open and close the filter on it. Yeah, once I got to the section in around two minutes uh, is when I started to really kind of shift and modulate that bass note, which really started to make like almost a big giant chord progression, even though the arpeggiator notes were still staying in the same spot. That brought so much more emotion and took it to the next level. <laughs> That with the piano riff, come on. I felt like I needed just one more thing to kind of sell the idea. That was this steel drum element. I've been a huge fan of the Roland's uh, Cloud series since they put it out. That's a must for me as far as production tools go. I love the JV1080 rather than go buy another the early 90s synthesizer that I'm not gonna touch because it's loud and you gotta plug it in and shit. I love using the plugins. This has that super 90s like hybrid analog digital sound to it, but there was an amazing steel drum sample. And basically what I did was I, I mimicked the rhythm of the piano riff. I just kind of played off that with different stacked harmonies. So it ends up feeling like one riff, but the melody slightly shift towards it and just a little bit of pan left and a little bit of pan right. and. I mean, pretty much done so at that point. Probably my favorite part of the track is is the breakdown. Again, Roland gave me this monster vocal and I wanted to give it a, its own section in the song and really highlight like how emotional and powerful I felt it was. So as I got to the, the bigger breakdown of the track, I kept stripping more and more back until I essentially almost ended up with just his top layer, acapella. I kept that over a minimal shaker part. Little steel drum, ear candy, and Roland. Just a little bit of percussion backbeat. One destiny, one hue. Thanks for tuning in to the breakdown of mine and Roland Clark's track, Alcabulon, coming out soon on Exploited Ghetto. Peace. <laughs>